fashion giant Calvin Klein is no stranger to controversy. Risque ads pushing limits for decades, but tonight pushback against what some are calling fashion porn. Here's ABC's Lindsay Janice. If you think you've seen it all from Calvin Klein, think again. This is their latest underwear campaign. This photo showing 23-year-old model Clara Kristen flashing the camera with a provocative shot looking up her skirt. With the caption, I flash in my Calvins, along with the hashtag, take a peek. People have called this like perverted or like pseudo pornography. So pretty negative. The rest don't leave much to the imagination either. Highly sexualized and suggestive images. Kendall Jenner squeezing a grapefruit. A model wearing her jeans backwards with the word Belfie. Another with her hands inside her underwear. The ads immediately coming under fire. Thousands of comments on social media, specifically blasting that up the skirt shot, saying it looks more like porn than fashion, calling it disgusting and unnecessary. They're trying to like push the boundaries, push the mark, and be overtly sexy in a way that went a little bit too far. Adweek staff writer Christina Monlo says the photos cross the line into the disturbing. We live in a culture where we're still trying to get people to understand consent. And so to have an ad showcase something that feels as though it's not asking the consent of the person within it, it feels uncomfortable. We reached out to Calvin Klein for comment about the campaign, but they haven't responded. Selling sex has always been Calvin Klein's trademark, causing a stir with Brooke Shields back in the 80s. You want to know what comes between me and my Calvins? Nothing. To Kate Moss and Mark Wahlberg a decade later. Oh, she got freckles. Now that could definitely come between me and my Calvins. But getting noticed by millennials constantly bombarded with sexual imagery on social media means brands are having to up the ante, competing for shares and likes. Calvin Klein is actually tapping into a worldview of youth culture right now. Connie Wang, fashion features director at Refinery29, feels this campaign is actually driven and directed at selfie culture. They are purposefully provocative and sexual, but the point is that they're flipping the conversation. It's sexual, but it's not exploitative. It's sexual and empowering. So you actually think these ads bring a positive message for women? I do think that. This is already happening in social media. They're taking selfies in ways like this. It's them saying that I'm taking ownership of my body. I'm feeling confident about what I'm wearing and what my body looks like. Calvin Klein pushed the envelope earlier this year as well with this billboard in downtown New York City. Some called it more insulting than edgy. The woman is overly sexualized. On one side, a young woman with the tagline, I seduce in my Calvins. The other side showing the rapper Fetty Wap with the caption, I make money in my Calvins. I'm not happy about it. I won't give Calvin Klein my money. I think sexy doesn't have to be sexist. And to me, these ads are sexist. And what makes this bra so unique? Heidi Zach, who actually has her own underwear company, was example, deeply offended. It propagated these old gender stereotypes that, you know, a woman is using her underwear to seduce and he's in his underwear underneath his clothes as, as how he's making money. She started a change.org petition to take the billboard down. I don't believe that underwear has to equate to sex. In advertising. The ad was taken down, but the company claimed they removed it as part of a planned rotation, not in response to the petition. In 2009, they put this giant billboard in the same exact spot. That time, it was insinuating group sex. Not only are they having sex, but there's like an orgy going on. It's, it's a little inappropriate. I mean, there's kids that walk by here. But selling sex has always worked. Calvin Klein's revenue last quarter was up 20%. It now feels kind of ordinary to see an ad like this. It's for shoes, by the way. I love Or this, Carl's Jr. selling burgers. The all-natural burger. But what adds to the outrage for some with this recent Calvin Klein ad is that the models look so young. Problem is that when you have an upskirt shot of a model who looks almost underage, there's a whole other element of yuck and what are you trying to say as a brand. Young, almost underage looking models was also a hallmark of American apparel. 
something that ABC's Terry Moran learned firsthand when CEO Dove Charney gave him a personal tour of their downtown L.A. factory in 2012. You were shooting models who were too young, who were made to look younger and exploiting their sexuality. I, I don't see it like that. I mean, but they, did that hurt or was that what you wanted? No, it hurt a little bit because it was silly. The problem is, is that in the real fashion world, they're taking very young girls and making them look older, and they're complete, it's completely contrived. Charney believed that American Apparel's models were authentic. Here, there's the photographer. She shot these of herself, huh. feeling good in her jeans. Hey. I'm proud of that ad. She is the brand, she's the customer, she's wearing the product, and she's the photographer. This is American Apparel. In recent years, the company has run into trouble. Charney doing? was ousted as CEO in 2014, right. the company later I'm declaring bankruptcy. Despite public outrage at many of their campaigns, Calvin Klein remains a clothing powerhouse and a pioneer in the world of fashion advertising. Some say this ad is actually progressive, yeah. Yeah. sparking a positive conversation for young people. Would you call this a success? Yes, I would call this ad a success, definitely. They spent no money, but it's going viral. Everyone's talking about this ad, and everyone's talking about sex and sexuality in ways that you know, people don't typically talk about when they when they see an ad. Um, and I think that it's forcing a lot of parents to have conversations with their children. For Nightline, I'm Lindsay Janice in New York.